Tonight we look back at the story of Ronald Buca, a New York City fire marshal, an army veteran who died saving lives in the South Tower. Dan Bowen tells us how he earned the nickname of the FDNY's flying fireman and how his heroism that fateful day was a combination of all his talents. He had said for years, and he was very verbal about it, uh, particularly in the fire department, that he expected something like this to happen. Eve Buka says her late husband Ronald always knew the terrorists would come back. He felt like we would always have an attack in New York, and he wanted to minimize the amount of loss of life. And when the planes hit on 9-11, the New York City fire marshal had no doubt about what he was going to do. And he said to me, I'm going into that building. I knew exactly what was in his mind. But to understand just how Ronald Buka ended up inside the South Tower trying to rescue people. He was getting to do what he went up those stairs for. You have to understand what happened to him back in 1986. A courageous New York firefighter is in the hospital tonight and he's in for a long stay. As a young firefighter, Buka responded to a two alarm fire on the Upper West Side, but he fell five stories while trying to rescue an FDNY lieutenant who was trapped in an apartment. His back was broken, but doctors say that it's a miracle he wasn't killed. This was Eve from all those years ago. I think we've used a lifetime's worth of luck in <laughs> that, short, that short span of time we used all the luck we ever had. And this is Eve today, what her husband told her while he was on that stretcher. Lying on the stretcher going into the MRI and him saying to me, I'm going to go back to rescue within a year. Buka earned the nickname the Fly fireman for that fall and transformed his career, combining his time in the Army Special Forces Green Beret and military with years in the fire department and was assigned to the FDNY terrorist task force. And he would go to firehouses and talk to them about this is what you look for, this is who you contact. He carried these field guides about how to respond to terror attacks with him. Eventually, Buka was promoted to fire marshal, which brings us back to that day. September 11th. They actually made it up to that floor and were assisting the civilians there. Radio transmission shows Buka linked up with Battalion Chief Oreo Palmer. Oreo, we're on 78, but we're in the big stair. We're trapped in here. We got to uh, put some fire up to get to you. Making it all the way up to the 78th floor of the South Tower, the crash zone, higher than any other known first responders, but they never made it out. When he was recovered, his turnout coat was found uh, on a civilian next to a group of civilians by a fire, by a staircase. And she says the pockets of that coat where he kept all his supplies were empty. And I realized he used everything he had to help with the civilians. In the two decades since, the family established a nonprofit called Stand Fast Alliance, partnering with organizations like Friends of Firefighters. Its goal, help military members and first responders be better prepared physically and mentally for disaster, like Ronald was. We're just continuing Ron's work. We're still looking out for his family and his extended family. Dan Bowens, Fox 5 News.